Hi there everybody, this is Rich here from Fast and Fun. This week's video is actually a re-upload of a video that got removed from YouTube a few months ago um, for reasons unknown. So what I've done is I've gone through the full video and I've edited out anything that could be seen as contravening YouTube rules. So hopefully this will stay live um, on YouTube and is part one of a two part into the Renault Sport Clear 182's venture up into the Elam Valley with friends in a Porsche Cayman S, BMW E93 M3 and TVR Chimera. Hope you enjoy. So we've just left Hereford on the way out to Ryder to the Elan Valley in Mid Wales in convoy. Um, this is the first true test of how good the Renault Sport Clio 182 is. And in the group today we've got three performance car icons from the last 25 years. I couldn't really come to the Elan Valley without bringing probably the number one performance car of the last 30 years, the BMW M3. Today is a E93 V8, rear wheel drive, 4 litre, over 400 brake horsepower. The second car is Jace in his Porsche Cayman S. 987 Genon 2 mid engined rear wheel drive 320 brake horsepower and then the oddball is John who's travelled across in his homegrown Blackpool based TVR Chimera from the mid 90s 4 litre V8 with about 250 brake it's going to be a real test to see how the Clio copes with these great sports cars and we'll see, I think, if it was a game of top trumps it would be absolutely plumb last because it's down on cylinders, engine size, power output, acceleration, top speed. There's only one thing really going for the Clio and that's weight, lack of weight and it's significantly the lightest car here and I'm just hoping that low weight will serve benefit on the Elan Valley where there's not many straights so the big engine powerful rear wheel drive car is just going to struggle I think at times I'm hoping to get that power down and give the clear a chance plus It'll really test the chassis of the Clio. This one, remember, is fitted with bell cup packages, so it's got the chassis cup, as it's the full fat version. Just got to have a few brave pills to make sure I keep the speed going through the corners and just make it difficult and see if I can hang on to these cars. Really excited, really looking forward to this. What a great test for the Clio. Just arrived at the, at the start of the Elan Valley. And these are the cars. <laughs> uh, no Nicole jokes, thank you. Trevor? Nicole?
just amazing as my car though. that out. Least powerful but the lowest weight and the best driver. And they're the three Muppets that are trying. Oh, we're going to be all crying at the end of the day when they realise they've wasted 15 to 20 grand on cars that cannot beat Nicole. This is the typical. The this is the typical cleaning of an M3 driver. Hey? He's got pampers hey? with him, mate. <laughs> hey, Jesus That's Christ! The the Look at the state of this. Always carry a pack of pampers, mate. Hey, it's no good doing it now, Baz. You should have done this flipping last week. Sideways down the corner. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to pass me that footage. Yeah. I need to follow John because I'm like, it's only part of the time before he puts it in the edge. <laughs> Cars performing well, all four of them. Cleo brakes are just not performing as well as I would have wanted them to. Uh, getting quite soggy after five minutes of hard driving so just got to be uh, just having to break a little bit earlier than I would want so that might be something I'll need to look at upgrading in time but it's flipping the cornering the grip that this car generates is absolutely fabulous keeping it in that sort of second third gear 5,000 plus revs it is a flipping pocket rocket this and it's keeping pace with the other three sports cars as well John's having a complete mare in the TVR just because of a lack of traction. Great day here at the Elam Valley. Going about, uh, what do you reckon, three or three and a half minutes, and it's the second time the bonnet's been up on the TVR. <laughs> and everyone got the number for the AA. Second side. Quarter past 11 in the morning. I will guarantee it will do it at least three more times before the end of today.
we've just stopped at lunch now halfway through the day um, and I have to say the Cleo's performed flipping brilliantly um, the turn in it's crisp it's direct it's responsive the chassis is just I back out way before the car does um, there was one or two little moments gone through some wet patches you've just got to be careful I think the weakest part of it is probably the brakes after five minutes of really hard driving just started to feel a little bit soft uh, but that's something you can I can sort of sort out in time otherwise it's been really really great we've had the M3 and the Cayman S chasing both those and I've stayed pace with both of them and that's absolute that's not my ability that's the car absolutely fantastic um, obviously on the longer straights it just just gets out punched by pure power but on the twisty stuff it's been epic and these two can't get away TVR older technology struggling to get the power down John's had a few twitchy moments where the back ends try to step out um, he's he's probably he's struggling but again that's more of a classic 90s car but at the moment the clear was absolutely nailed on doing everything I could ask for it uh, and it's staying pace with a 320 brake horsepower Cayman S and a 414 brake horsepower M3 V8 what more can you say epic are you all now wishing you'd spent two grand rather than 20 grand quite happy with my purchase hey is the general consensus you've wasted eighteen thousand pounds? Because you've you've no, you've no. been holding me up the whole <laughs> Elan Valley. Oh, okay, come on. Is that, is that brown that car, Rich? Bra it's no, it's a well-worn black. <laughs> it's a well-worn black. And how many uh, Baz M3 MPG this morning? Uh, Fifteen point seven so far. That's cracking. <laughs> I think I've done about thirty-five. <laughs> holding its own, the clear one eight two. This is not pre-planned, but I'm going to ask these guys. Right, start with Baz. Baz, if you had to swap your car for one of the other three, which would you pick? Suzuki Vitara. <laughs> Come on, Baz. Baz, why are you not looking at my clear? My clear is that way. Come on, it, Baz. Oh, that would be, that's a tough one, mate. Um, the Suzuki, because we've hidden the clear. <laughs> We're embarrassed by the clear, aren't we? Mm. He's doing some uh, in here, isn't he? Um, Baz. Probably, um, Baz. Go... Fast. Here's a tenner. <laughs> Hang on, let's go to John first, because <laughs> clearly Baz is... Uh, John, what would you have? The Clio, okay. Jace? Oh, <laughs> no, come on, John. I don't know, I've got a BM, so I'd have a Cayman. You'd have the Cayman? Yeah. Oh, Jace has now got a really smug face on his <laughs> Right, come on then, Mr. Cayman driver, what would you have? I think for its raw... Don't say I'm having the TVR, because... I was going to say for its raw, unadulterated, you know, kind of experience. No, no, uh, no aids, etc. And just, and the fact it's got a V8, uh, I'd have to go for the TVR. Oh, so that means them two have... Uh, Baz, them two have gone flipping hand in hand. Come on. Yeah, we Cayman, arranged mate. that earlier. Cayman, Cayman. oh... It's just the obvious choice. <laughs> it's the obvious choice. And nobody's... Right, Archie. M frame. Archie, <laughs> you're my son. And you've taught him not to lie. You've taught him that well. Yeah. So. Right, there you go. Okay. This is the, this is the Archie, second cut because done. actually on the first cut, I don't know why I parked it under the horse. Um, on the first cut, they all said the Clio, but just for camera, clearly they wouldn't. Uh, they'd rather spend 20 grand rather than two. Right, it's the return leg back through the Eden Valley. <laughs>